Welcome back to the third episode of the Australia Training Diaries. And what a season we are having over here in Australia. It has been firing. The wind's been cranking. We've had swell all the time. Uh, I don't think you could ask for a better season. Uh, but firstly, we're going to go, what we're going to talk about on this episode, we've got a lot of things going on. We've got uh, Jager Stone training for the Red Bull Storm Chase. We've got uh, 105 kilos of Gunnar Asmussen fastest man in Germany last year uh, throwing down some pretty big stunts uh, we've also got the, the big balls award uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming up but firstly we're going to go straight to the Lancelin Ocean Classic it's the biggest windsurfing event here in Australia this sort of time of year well I think just in Australia windsurfing event uh, anyone who doesn't know about it you're about to find out uh, I talked a little bit about it in the last episode uh, but it's basically a wave a marathon and a hell of a party so it kicked off on the uh, Friday and we had some big waves a bit too big for Lancelin it doesn't really handle a big swell uh, but we had some epic conditions the girls were up first in the morning in probably the most difficult conditions we had Jane Seaman and Justina Shani making it through to a two woman final and in the end it was Jane that got it she picked up one really nice wave and got a load of turns uh, and maybe Justina didn't have her best final so Jane won uh, Justina in second uh, and third place Lena Erpestein from Germany she's been over here again training and she's looking on good for Miley just in fourth place then we had the open class and that was a tightly contested battle uh, <laughs> I'll say no more about that one but uh, the boys were absolutely fire and they had pretty much the whole place to themselves the whole day and then we squeezed the elite in right at the end of the day before sunset the pictures coming out from there from the helicopter and everything the sunset just golden pictures JC and the chopper got some really sweet shots uh, results wise wow Jager Stone taking home uh, victory, you know, fresh back from injury. He thought maybe show signs a little bit rusty. Not a chance. He was absolutely ripping. Uh, so uh, really good to see Jager back on form. Second place. It was actually a joint second place. It was me and Mr. Severn. So me and him real equal in second place. He's so tricky to beat in Lano. Just sells so good. And then we had Dieter van Dijken in fourth. We had Felix uh, from the push loop. Diaries fame uh, and then we have Scott McKercher who was actually sixth in the final we had six people uh, because we were running out of time and he was absolutely ripping in the early rounds uh, but Lancelin it is a fun event obviously the serious stuff going on in the water but where it really happens is uh, pretty much in the pub and Friday night was no exception um, it's usually the quieter night of the Friday or the Saturday you know over the two nights uh, but they stuck a wet t-shirt competition in true Aussie style some people saying oh it's a bit old-fashioned going back in years I mean I would agree with that but I thought I would go just uh, you know, for documentation purposes to bring you guys some video. So I had to stand there with the video camera, you know, getting some footage just to update you on what actually happened. So yeah, there were a few girls, there were some t-shirts, there was some water involved and we saw some boobies. Yes, we did. I know, I'm terrible, terrible. Uh, so uh, for any of you young guys, look away now because, you know, this could, uh, this could ruin you. Ruin you for life, ruin you for life. Uh, so there we go, we had a, we, okay, we, had, we did have a top laugh. Uh, it was a nice bit of banter going on the Friday night. Uh, so then we had to survive Friday night and obviously the big day in the Lansdowne Classic is the Saturday, that's the marathon. Uh, there's like 200 people or something like that lined up on the beach, big beach start countdown. Everyone just goes into the water and then it's a 25 mile or 25 kilometer race uh, all the way downwind basically to the pub uh, and that's pretty much how it goes uh, Steve Allen well what, what can we say he's won this event I think three or four times now he knows how to do it uh, and he won this one I would say he was the outright winner because there was a kite race going on as well but a kite started 100 meters ahead of us and they finished within meters of each other so I'm giving it to the windsurfer for the race uh, we also had Patrick Detail. He was right up there in second place. Uh, and in third place, we had Rowan Law all on the Patrick uh, Airing sideboards, I think. That's so I heard. So uh, Patrick's going to be pretty happy with that. I should actually mention in the race, Karen Yaggy finishing up in 10th overall with an 8.6 as well. So, uh, you know, she's still, she's still knocking around. Be interested to see if she comes back on the race course. Uh, Gunnar Asmussen was actually there as well. But uh, he broke a fin on the first one. Uh, he was in about third place, so he's a bit gutted with that. But more on Gunner in a bit. So then, obviously, we got the Saturday night. That's what it is. Big party. Everyone sort of uh, living the dream over there, having a few scoops. Uh, and obviously, the prize giving. Uh, and then 
there's obviously a big prize uh, at Lancelin Ocean Classic. There's a, there's a couple of legends in the past. One of them, uh, Peter Volwater. I mean, he is, for me, remembered as that event. That was his event. He'd smash it in the wave, smash it uh, on the race course, uh, and then smash it in the bar as well. So, uh, you know, there is a memorial to Pete, which is like an overall trophy, the Waterman Trophy, which is a combination of the two disciplines, the wave and the race. Yeah, I was, uh, like I say, pretty honoured to uh, win that award. Uh, it's actually a joint award this year because there was three of us on equal points. We had Newson on 14 points. We had Avon Griffiths on 14 points and me on 14 points. We all got there different ways, but in the end, they didn't want to split it. So we end up sharing uh, the big Pete of All Water trophy. And I think it's fair enough, like three guys could have to live up to the man up there. I mean, he was the bit of a legend. Uh, we did come up with the idea that actually we should settle it in the third discipline, which was the bar. Uh, and I think uh, we did our best to do that. Uh, although I think Avon probably took the title. He was, uh, he was having it. I gave him a good run for his money, but it was uh, pretty close. Uh, the next day, let's just say we were in Hangover Bay. No, we actually were in Hangover Bay. Uh, I was feeling pretty ropey. Uh, the swell didn't come through. Uh, it's just up, uh, up the coast from Lano, and we thought we might score it, but it didn't quite happen in the end. <laughs> right, moving on. Uh, other news apart from competition. Uh, you're probably thinking, Avon Griffiths, well, he's sharing... This Peter Volwater trophy, you know, never heard of this fella. Well, I've got to be honest, this guy. Big balls, oh, I've got big balls. And there's such big balls, big 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 balls. balls. Yeah, this guy has got massive balls. He is one mad dog, I can tell you. He's a crazy, crazy bloke. Uh, he's fast as well. Like I said, in the race, he got six in the race, starting in the I mean, second row or something with a 7 0, and most people are eight sixes. Uh, and he got something like uh, eighth in the wave as well. But he is crazy, like I said, totally mm, crazy. He's uh, got it in his head. He had the boys, his mates, come up from uh, Albany, and he really wanted to show him a double forward loop. Uh, so he stuck his helmet on and he went for it. I am not joking. The boy was going off. There is some crazy crashes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be honest, I didn't get all of them. I really tried my best, but uh, he would just go for it whenever no one was looking. He doesn't need the camera on him, but I got a few of them and they are crazy. Oh, fuck. So uh, Alvin is... Big balls, balls. This episode, absolutely going for it. Uh, and I think he might be getting a few more the way he's going. Um, seeing all these doubles going on, uh, there's obviously talk on the beach. We've got Jager Stone up there. We've got Dieter van der Eiken. Uh, and then we've got this man. Yes, the big man, Gunnar Asmussen, 105 kilos. Now, when you look at him, you think racer. Yeah, you think speed. He's the fastest man in Germany in uh, 2016. You know, VMAX nearly 50 knots. He's quick. How is he at wave sailing? How is he at freestyle? Well, check this out. Check the willy skipper on the big fella. 105 kilos, dainty as you like. Absolutely perfect willy skipper. Uh, so then he's, you know, he's having a chat with Jager Stone and these boys, and he just goes down. I mean, this is actually before I got here, but he threw down an absolute perfect double. In my eyes, 105 kilos, do you get better than that? That's a beauty. Any better landing, I think the board snaps. So that's the talk on the beach. We got up there, I think, the next day, uh, and he was throwing them down like they were nothing. He's like, I was like, I didn't get it. You know, can can we can you do it again? Yeah, yeah, I'll just go out and do a few. Again? Oh, that was a good one. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fucking hell. Go on, son. Opa. Nice. That was sick. And he was just going one run, another double. One run, another double, another double, another double. There was a few moments of uh, you didn't want to look. 
Here we go. <laughs> but uh, he's got a few good ones on camera so uh, Gunnar Asmussen may be one to watch in the waves this year it's going to be interesting uh, he's cruising around he's here in Australia obviously he's got new sponsors in Severn um, and he's cruising around in what he calls the MILF machine <laughs> yes he, that's where he's living he's living in that car um, 25 bucks if you want uh, the sex machine, apparently. That's what it says on the window. Uh, and he loves kite surfing. So Gunnar Asmussen, proper character. He's been around in the German windsurfing scene for a long time, but I think we might be seeing some of him moving up this year. Uh, and he's going to be doing a lot more speed from what he was saying. Uh, so I think Gunnar motivated the doubles. Uh, so then we had, obviously, Dieter van der Eiken, uh, you know, ex-freestyle world champion, really pumping out the wave stuff at the moment. And he's sailing really good. Uh, don't let that result in, in Lano, you know, tell you any fibs because he is right up there at the moment. Uh, and he's been uh, smashing out some doubles, although it didn't quite go well the other day. He was trying to go a bit more upwind. And when you go a bit more upwind, you usually end up going the old pole vault. We saw the other year where he did the pole vault into the mast. Well, same thing this year. Oh, that's... Another broken mass for Dieter van der Eiken. Um, it's not the mass fault, it's just the way you land. Um, uh, so yeah, but Dieter's been sailing good. He's got, he's got all the moves going down. Uh, and I think we're going to be seeing him breaking right up into that wave. Uh, maybe top 10 this year. I don't know. Let's just watch this space. Uh, we've got to mention Jager Stone, obviously back from injury. I said he just won Lancelin Classic. He is on top form uh, and he is on a one-man mission to sort his doubles out. And how's he getting on? Oh, beauty. Yeah, as you can see, pretty damn good. I've seen him land so many super clean ones. It's un... Oh, it's crazy. I haven't got hardly actually any on film, but don't you worry. He has been landing some absolute peaches. Uh, he's also had a few... Uh, I mean, he's been training on if other sails, so certain sails he's really good with. And then as he goes up to the bigger sizes, then stuff goes a little bit wrong. But he is still throwing them down. Uh, and he ended up having a pole vault one the other day, breaking the top of his mast. He was pretty unlucky. But 5-2, it was pretty windy. Uh, it's not hard to see why it happened. So I think these boys are going to have to get some stocks of masts uh, coming up. What else is he doing at the moment? Well, he's come back from injury, but he really wants to push on for this Red Bull Storm chase. That's one thing. It's in his head. So uh, you're in Australia. It's 35 degrees. You know, maybe it's not storm weather, but you've got to get ready. What do you do? Easy. You just shove all the gear on and go out for a sail. Yes, 35 degrees, and he puts the gimp suit on, as he calls it. On the gimp. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. <laughs> He's got the full, you know, hat. You've got the 5'4 suit. You've got the boots. You've got the gloves. You've got absolutely everything, uh, and went out for a session. Uh, and it's fair to say, when you put all that gear on, it does numb your senses a bit. Uh, so he sort of over-rotated his first back here, and we were like, whoa. Uh, and then he had, like, this nasty crash. Uh, I think this was more when he had, like, the heat, heat exhaustion. But that is a huge catapult. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> but then he was bashing out some big moves, and it didn't seem to bother him. He's got the one foot backy down, even with the boots and the gloves and everything on. Uh, big tweet push loops, like big fours, your backside threes and stuff like that so Jager Stone is firing for that Red Bull Storm Chase he really does want that call uh, and it is on uh, the waiting period at the moment so the next big storm in any of their locations uh, and he might be getting the call so uh, there we go that's what uh, Jager Stone is doing at the moment uh, but he's also uh, training uh, for the impact uh, I saw him go up for this fall the other day and I was like, whoa, my God, that is massive, massive. And I'm like, hang on a minute. He doesn't look like he's rotated. And he comes down so hard on his back. Oh. <laughs> he's going to have some bruises from that. So, yeah, doing a bit of impact training. And obviously, he's got the forwards. Uh, you know, when you're doing for doubles, you really need to have those forwards controlled. So big planing forwards. And he's got them down as well. So uh, Jager Stone, he's, he, like I say, pushing super hard at the moment. And he's going to be another uh, good challenger for a world title this year. That is for sure. What else have we got? Well, 
I'm not quite sure we've got any more. I mean, it's super hot. Like I say, I've got to go. We've got uh, Barb's and Gav setting up for the Australia Day, because it is Australia Day today, 26th of January, uh, setting up for the big breakfast uh, pretty much soon behind me. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to head down to hopefully Margaret River now, because it's getting super hot up uh, north. So we're going to go down to Margaret River, catch some waves uh, before I'm heading out to... Cape Town, yes, windsurfing.tv is coming to Cape Town. We're going to bring you the training diaries from over there and push out because we haven't been for a bit. Uh, and I think it's about time. There's a lot of stuff going on in Cape Town and I think I would like to bring you the action. Uh, so uh, you've definitely got to stay tuned to Windsurfing TV. Uh, big up to the guys who've chipped him some beer money. Matt at the top. He's the king at the moment. Uh, styling. Uh, so big thanks to everyone else also on that list who's putting some beer money this year. I will be doing that raffle. Every £10 buys you a raffle ticket uh, and I'll be giving out some prizes. We're going to have a pair of lip sunglasses in there. We've got a few other things uh, but so like I say watch this space uh, windsurfing TV we were gonna give you an update uh, on me in the next episode uh, it was my birthday the other day uh, nearly at the big uh, 439 and still going strong I uh, got some good presents as well actually check this oh yeah this is coming this is gonna be uh, a good demoing uh, platform Barbie's windsurfer <laughs> Cheers, Justina, for that. Uh, and I got some other good stuff as well. We went out, I, say, I should say, we went out in Jero, and uh, the, the guy who came second in Australia's Got Talent, just he just uh, was just sitting in the crowd, and there was a girl playing the guitar, and he ended up coming up and doing a little bit of a, well, what do you say? He's like playing the piano on the, on the, on the guitar. It was uh, impressive stuff, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, there we go. Uh, birthdays, we've had Lancelin Classic, we've had wind, we've had waves, it's just been going off. Stay tuned, windsurfing.tv. Uh, we'll be here to capture all the action. Oh, fuck. Stop! Fuck you! Jesus!